What up, Paper Chasers? It's your girl, Loud Pan, coming to you from the loudest pen ever with this week's The Pen Has Spoken, which is Hip Hop Saved My Life. Um, basically, hip hop has been in my life, on my life, ever since I was younger, whatever. Um, from the time that I copped my first uh, miseducation of Lauryn Hill, um, R.I.P. Lauryn Hill, basically, in my opinion, she might as well not even be around no more, because... Dang, man, I don't think she ever gonna come back. But anyways, that's a whole different tangent. That's different. Um, um, but anyways, um, the thing that I have always loved about hip-hop and that reason I love it more than any genre of music is because it gives you the ability to say, I don't care. I don't give a shit. This is what I am. You can love it or you can, you know what I mean? Like Jay-Z said, you either love me or leave me alone. You know what I'm saying? And I'm really learning that lesson or whatever because it's just like, you know, I remember a few weeks ago, I remember I was all upset and Ryan Post about how like it was people that was like family members of mine that I thought was like behind me and supporting me and it turns out they didn't even know, they probably had like never visited the blog or nothing like that before so I was all upset and I was like venting about it and stuff and you know two of my most loyal readers and my supporters, Max Reddick and Carrie was both like, you know, nah we support you, know you got a good thing going on here with this blogging thing, don't let them, them doubters and naysayers get to you and so thank you to the two of them I really appreciate that and thank you to all my followers that follow this blog you know what I mean all 20 of you <laughs> you know what I'm saying and all my little Twitter followers which ain't even 200 you know what I'm saying but I'm just learning that like when you out here doing something totally different that just scares the shit out of people and a lot of people just probably come to this blog and are probably just like yo what is this girl talking about she is crazy like I don't even get it you know what I'm saying? Because I'm out here doing something totally different than what anybody else is out here doing. Like, I'm not doing a, a celebrity gossip blog. I'm not doing a political little news blog. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not doing, like, um... TV entertainment blog, you know what I mean? I'm not just out here just talking about random stuff just to be talking about it because that's what I'm going through in my life. You know what I'm saying? A do vent or whatever, but this is a movement that I'm trying to start. You know what I mean? I'm the loudest pan ever. I'm trying to prove that, like, I got this swagger and I got everybody to ready to come after me come come follow behind me come be a paper chaser come chase this paper just like me let's get on this jay-z beyonce kanye rihanna joint you know what i mean let's get on that let's run this town real talk why not you know what i mean and it's like the confidence that i have the ability to say i don't care i don't care what you think about me it comes from hip-hop you know what i'm saying ever since hip-hop was first started you know what i mean it's always been rappers they they was always like totally different from the mainstream what society was supposed to accept you know what I'm saying like from where hip hop and rap first started you know in the Bronx or whatever in New York like in the hood you know what I mean where you have break dancers breaking over broken bottles and stuff where you had DJs DJ and basement parties you know what I'm saying to where it moved when you had like Rockham and Big Daddy Kane dropping in the late 80s whatever then you got the early 90s when you got like the gangster rap dropping or whatever you had NWA, Ice Cube, Pop, Biggie, you know what I mean? J dropped towards the later 90s, which is paid away for like no limit, cash money, you know what I'm saying? Like, even like some of the ones that aren't as much as my favorite hip hop artists as others, they still have the ability to say, like, nah, man, I don't give a. <laughs> y'all care like you know it is what it is and you can take it or you can leave it you know what I'm saying and basically that's how hip hop saved my life it gave me the ability to say like nah I don't care you know what I'm saying you can accept me or you don't have to accept me it's no other genre of music that does that you know what I'm saying except for maybe rock rock is like the only other kind of genre of music that pushes the button of society and makes you uncomfortable and shifting your chair the way hip hop does you know what I'm saying like you know and it's all different forms of types of hip hop or whatever you know but that's a uh whatchamacallit you know so you you have like your alternative rap you have gangster rap you have progressive rap you have conscious rap it's all different types and it's all different forms so don't put it in one little box or whatever say this all misogynistic and violent or whatever and y'all know my paper chasers know and all my twitter followers that stopping by the blog know that the epitome to me of this example is jay-z the way he lives his lifestyle with the rock nation with rock aware with just everything
everything that he does. You know what I mean? He embodies the ability to say, like, nah, you don't have to love me, but you will respect me. You know what I'm saying? You will respect who I am. You will give me my props. Even if you hate two seconds later, you will give me my props. So now I'm about to do the same thing. How am I about to do the same thing? Um, by proving that hip hop saved my life um, because I'm not a writer, I'm not a blogger. You know, I, ha I do have a blog or whatever. I do write, but I'm not a writer and I'm not a blogger. What am I, you ask? I'm an inker. What does that mean, you say? It means that I put letters and turn letters into words and I put them on a page, whether it be a page, a piece of paper, whether it be a blog page, whether it be one of these video posts that I do. That's what an inker does. Um, I observe and see things out here in life and I, and I put them all together and I let it uh, manifest itself in me and then I talk about it, like I ink about it, you know? and saying like that's what I do or whatever like you know for the most part y'all know me as the loud pen that loves Beyonce Jay-Z and hip-hop but also too not only that but I, I have very diverse interests you know some of my favorite movies are stuff like Pride and Prejudice and um um, whatchamacallit, like The Notebook and like Now and Then and like Center Stage, which you would consider like cheesy white girl type of stuff. But you know what I mean? I take little different aspects from little different parts of culture and I put them together and I make it a part of me, which makes me an anchor, which makes me totally different than anything out here like you ever seen. You ain't never seen no blog in the whole blogosphere that's anything like mine. You ain't seen your typical uh, gossip celebrity blogs, you ain't seen social uh, political news type of blogs you done seen like just like personal blogs where the person just talks about what's going on in their personal life now I'm doing way more than that I'm starting a movement and hip hop saved me and hip hop gave me that power hip hop gave me the ability to get on this blog and be confident when I'm not always looking the best what you would say you know my fro isn't always picked out whatever whatever not nah, who cares like I might as well come out and do it now you know what I'm saying because as soon as I blow up I'm gonna get put a blast on good get put on blast about it then so I might as well get Put on blast about it now. You know what I'm saying? Like, why not? You know it is what it is, you know? So just my little two little inter interjections is number one I remember when I was on a fashion blog a couple weeks ago Beyonce was out and about hair wasn't looking the best or whatever and I remember making a comment about it myself like ooh B what's going on you know what I'm saying but like real talk she can come out the house looking like that and still get her picture taken and still get talked about on all the blogs and all the newspapers and the media and stuff like that you want to know why cause she's Beyonce and she's built her brand and that's a lifestyle you know what I'm saying and, and part if you really look at parts of Beyonce's swagger most of Beyonce swagger is hip hop based or whatever watch her walk uh, that she do at the end of the diva video the walk that she does at the beginning of the crazy in love video it's a it's a sachet and swagger you know what I mean I talked about that when I gave that to Aaliyah you know what I'm saying a couple weeks a couple months ago when I had did my series on Aaliyah or whatever um number two why hip hop is saved my life and why hip hop is a lifestyle um this is my other tangent is because a few weeks ago when Beyonce and Jay Z was out I guess on one of their little date nights they was in Croatia and they getting harassed by uh, the Croatia paparazzi or whatever. These are two black people from Houston and um, you know Brooklyn, New York, respectively. Two cities, you know, places in the, in America that is not even very well known in America, let alone like across the world. You know what I mean? But both of them just is so powerful and got so so much greatness behind them that they can get harassed by paparazzi in an Eastern European nation because they just that shit. You know what I'm saying? And you wish you could get on their level. Do you even know where Croatia is? Can you point it out on a map? No, probably not, because I know I personally can. I know it's in Eastern Europe somewhere, but I can't really point it out, you know, on a map. You know, that is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So that's my own ignorance that I got to remedy ASAP. But, you know, that's my thing about that or whatever, is that they both can come from places where people didn't think that they was even going to do anything and still make themselves great. So basically, my whole main thing to say to y'all is, is Paper Chases is that hip-hop saved my life, and it's giving me the swagger to keep running this blog. So keep, you know, doing what, keep doing what I do or whatever. Keep chasing this paper with me or whatever. We about to hold it down. This is Loud Pen to keep inking the page for y'all. Coming to you from the loudest pen ever. And... There it is. The pit has spoken.